Is this magic or is this just a foundation? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Sneha here at Beauty Lashes 19 and I am so excited to review this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Now this foundation had so much hype when it was um, released, I believe it was last year but I may be wrong. But there was like so many ads saying, oh is it magic, blah blah blah. So let's find out if it actually is magic or if it's just a foundation like so many others. <laughs> By the way, if you find these foundation reviews helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing. It's free. But let's get started with the review. Now I have this in the shade 8, which is meant for tan to deep tan skin tones with warm golden or olive undertones. So I've already moisturized my face with the Ombre Release Lay Cream Concentrate. And I've let that soak into my skin for about 15-20 minutes now. So we're ready to prime our face and I'm going to use, as always, the Scandinavia Primer Spray. So as always, I'm doing one half of my face with the Sephora foundation brush and the other half with the Damp Beauty Blender sponge. On their website, however, I do see that the recommended products have one of these kind of buffing brushes. Actually, in shape, it's more similar to the Wayne Goss brush number 13, so it's something like this. It's a Charlotte Tilbury brush. But since I keep these tools constant for all the foundation reviews, I'm just going to stick to using these two. Now, this foundation costs about £30 in the UK for 30 mils or one fluid ounce. So this particular foundation comes in only 12 shades. And there's only like three or four shades that are meant for for deeper skin tones so most of the I don't know eight shades are more catered towards lighter to light medium skin tones and maybe a few for medium skin tones so if you're a woman of color I doubt it that you'll find a good match in this foundation so that's something to consider but if you look on her website she does explain what undertones and what uh, skin tone range that particular foundation shade would suit they also have pictures of representative models to see if that matches your skin. Now the packaging is this frosted glass bottle with this rose gold plastic cap. So it's quite cheap for the price and for Charlotte Tilbury but I do like the rose gold tint to it. It does come with a nice flexible pump, it's quite smooth when you press down. So basically you can control how much product comes out at a time. But it's white and as you can see it gets dirty quite easily. Because it's a glass bottle, I wouldn't say this is very travel friendly. Also, the cap is not very secure. It can come off quite easily. There's no lock mechanism. You just push it down and it doesn't really seal. So I wouldn't personally recommend traveling with it unless you pack it up really well. So let's start with the application. I'm going to take one pump of the foundation. So that's how much product you get for one pump. It's thick but also quite runny. So as always, I'm going to dot it all over my face. So this half, I'm going to use the Sephora foundation brush. So this is what one thin layer of the foundation looks like. I would say it's given me a light to medium coverage. So I am going to go in with the second layer with my fingers to see if it can cover my acne scarring. This foundation does look like skin despite having some coverage. Definitely has more coverage than the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation we reviewed. It's building up beautifully. So now I think it's given me a nice medium to full coverage, I think, but not a full full coverage. But it looks so much a part of the skin and doesn't really look cakey, which I'm really loving about this foundation. So that's one half of the brush and let's move on to the other side with the Damp Beauty Blender sponge. And I still haven't used up the full one pump. Just going to squeeze out the excess water from the beauty blender sponge and let's start blending. It 
So this is what one layer with the beauty blender looks like. I think it was quite compatible to the brush side. So I'm just going to go in with the second layer with my finger. And I'm still working on that first pump of foundation that we took out. So coming close to the camera so you can see how this foundation looks on the skin. So on this half I used the Beauty Blender sponge. Foundation has a very nice beautiful luminous glow to the skin. And this is the half where I applied with the brush. I think the finish is quite similar between the two sides. I think this side may be just a fraction more dewier. So if you like that finish you may want to use a Beauty Blender sponge. So I thought of going over the claims of this foundation before I set my face and do the rest of my makeup because then the foundation tends to look different from just now when it's freshly applied. So number one, it says it's a collagen boosting formula that can help reduce the appearance of acne in nine weeks and also age spots by 75%. So that's a big claim. And if I were to use it consistently, maybe that'll work, but we really can't test that out in this particular review. Said over 88% of women agree it matches their skin tone. I do agree. I was skeptical at first that it may be too dark for me, but it really blends in beautifully with my neck. They say it lasts all day and is comfortable on their skin, while 77% of women agree it gave them perfect looking skin. Now, I don't think it's completely perfect, especially when I have these really deep, dark acne scarring, but on most of the other shoes I think it looks quite good as you can see on the lighter scarring it did kind of cover them but it definitely doesn't give me perfect looking skin I still need to go over this with a concealer. Next it's supercharged with vitamin C and has a genius hyaluronic filling spheres which help reduce the appearance of wrinkles and aging effects leaving you with transformed skin. I can already see it settling into my smile line so We'll have to see how it performs throughout the day on that. It says it has a concentrated mushroom extract which firms, tightens pores and moisturizes your skin. I don't know if these effects are over a period of time but right now I don't think my pores are any smaller or bigger than what they usually are. It definitely felt moisturizing as it was going on the skin so I will give it that and I don't feel any firming effects from it yet. It says it's a full coverage SPF 15 foundation. I mean, SPF 15 is good. Um, I still need more sunscreen protection if that's what it's intended for. So I usually go for anything about 30. So I would definitely use a sunscreen under this anyway. And I usually like my foundation to not have SPF just so I can, you know, wear it on days where I don't really want flashback in my uh, foundation. So that's something I don't like, but it's definitely not full coverage. It says it will transform your skin, especially if you struggle with frustrating issues such as melasma, acne, and rosacea. I have acne and acne scarring, and it's not full coverage. Sorry. It says it's flawless, poreless, long lasting coverage. I don't think it's flawless. I mean, it is beautiful, but it's not 100% flawless. Is it poreless? No, I can still see my pores. It says long lasting coverage. We're going to test that. So. Yeah, those are my thoughts as of now for the foundation, but I'll go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is how my face looks like once I have added some color to my cheeks. So. so I'm ready to set my face. I'm going to use the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. But so far, I am really loving this foundation. If this foundation stays put as it claims all day, I think this is going to be my new favorite foundation. So fingers crossed, it looks beautiful. So I hope it works for my oily skin. But it's about 11.30 a.m. here and I'm going to come back in a few hours to give you my first check-in. So this is the six, six and a half hour check-in. Sorry, this is my first check-in. I was busy editing a video that I had to get uploaded today. So it was just a little too crazy for me. So I just didn't have time to come on and do a check-in. But 
my skin started to get a little shiny especially on my nose around the three to four hour mark but not as oily as it is right now. It is super oily. It's almost like I can fry a bloody egg. My nose and cheek, this kind of a triangle area is looking horrible. So I definitely need to blot. Using my mixed blotting sheets, and this is the green tea one. Let's see how many sheets I need today. This is how much oil came out of my face and now my face is back to looking matte and I quite like the way it's looking. The foundation has not come off my nose or anything. Surprisingly it hasn't clung to any of the dry patches around my nose nor has it collected around my nostrils and whatever settled into the smile lines initially is still the same it's not increased or made worse over time but other than that i see my blush is still on my contour is still on and so is my concealer so as long as you're okay with blotting this foundation i think you can get at least a six hour wear time as of now so i think i'm going to come back in maybe another two or three hours to give my final thoughts on this foundation Hey guys, so this is my last check-in. It's been exactly eight hours since I first applied the foundation. And if I come closer, this is what it looks like. For the most part, I think it has stayed put on my face, just that my face keeps getting oily every three to four hours. I would definitely try this foundation under a mattifying primer if that's going to help it but otherwise I don't think this foundation is suited for an oily skin type. I see this looking beautiful on dry, normal, maybe combination skin type as long as you use a mattifying primer. So those are my final thoughts for this foundation. So let me know if you've tried this foundation in the comment section below and also let me know what kind of skin type you have and if you enjoy this foundation or not. But bottom line, this foundation is not magic. It's just a foundation. So I hope this foundation review was helpful in making a purchase decision in case you were considering buying this foundation. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through